how to use TempMail, a free disposable temporary email address. What is a disposable temporary email address? A disposable temporary email address is a service that allows you to receive email at a temporary address that self-destructs after a certain time elapses. Many forums, Wi-Fi owners, websites, and blogs ask visitors to register before they can view content, posts and comments or download something. TempMail is one of the most advanced throwaway email services that helps you avoid spam and stay safe on the internet. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash temp dash mail dot org slash en. Once you're here, you'll be taken to the temp mail homepage. As you can see, at the very top here in this little text box, you can see your temporary email address is currently loading, and that is because TempMail is generating your temporary email address. And there we go, guys. In a relatively short period of time, our temporary email address has been generated by TempMail. You have two share options here. The first one is to copy to clipboard, which will copy your email address, or you can share it by QR code. Now, the most convenient one, of course, is to copy to clipboard, which is what we'll be using here. Below your generated temporary email address here you have four more buttons the first button here on the left hand side is to copy to clipboard to the right is to refresh your mailing list below which I'll take you through in just a moment the next one is to change your email address and the last one is to delete this email address great guys so I'm going to continue to scroll down here just to show you the inbox of temp mail you have the sender column here the subject column here and to the right the view column here and as you can see our inbox is currently empty and temp mail is awaiting for incoming emails great guys so I'm going to demonstrate the use of temp mail now by signing up to a new user of CodePen in the next tab here. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is left clicking on sign up here. And then you have a couple of options to sign up to CodePen. First by signing up by Twitter, GitHub, or Facebook, of course, I'm going to be using sign up with email. So I'm just going to left click on that now, and then I'm going to scroll down here just to fill in the required parameters. The first parameter I'm going to fill in here is email. So I'm just going to right click on the email box here, and I'm going to paste in our temporary email address. Now for my name and the username, I'm going to use the username of our temporary email address here as our name and our username. So I'm just going to copy this here, and I'm going to paste that in as my name, and and also paste it in as my username. For my password, I'm just going to make one up now real quick. Now that I've chosen a password, I'm just going to hit submit here. And just like that, guys, we have easily signed up to CodePen. Now, of course, anytime you sign up as a new user to any service, you need to verify your account by opening up the email sent to you by that particular service and clicking on the confirmation link. So I'm just going to do that now. So I'm just going to hit never here. And I'm going to go back to our temp mail tab here. And I'm going to make sure that the inbox is visible here. As you can see, it is. And we do have one new fresh email in our inbox. As you can see, it's by verify at codepen.io and the subject says, welcome to CodePen. So I'm just going to view it here by left clicking on this arrow and I'm going to scroll down. And there we go, guys. We have our full fledged email here from CodePen in our temp mail inbox here. And all we need to do to confirm our registration is left click on click to verify email. Once we have done that, we have officially confirmed our registration to CodePen and are now fully able to utilize CodePen services. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to use TempMail as a free disposable temporary email address. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to